Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this one is about a Stack Overflow question that I answered pretty recently. Uh, and it has to deal with from imports where the original poster was confused about how a function can still access its globals even if they don't get imported. Uh, I did a video recently about how from imports aren't faster than import imports, which also somewhat explains what I'm going to explain here. Uh, but, you know, I'll link that in the description <laughs> so you can check that out as well. All right, so we are going to set up the example that they had. Ours is going to be a little bit different than theirs. Uh, we're going to have t2.py, which is going to have some global variable, let's say num, and something that squares num. It's not a very interesting function, but it is a function nonetheless. And if we go over here and do from t2 import square, even though we haven't imported num, this variable still exists, and we're still able, call, able to call square and get our answer out. Now, the question is, how does this work, and uh, how can you explain what's going on here? So the first thing to explain is imports in Python are all purely side effects. Basically, what they do is they trigger a module load, they stick it into sys.modules, and then they access references from them. So if we look at, if we import sys, and look at sys.modules. Uh, there's a big old dictionary of all of the modules that have been imported into this process so far. And we can actually pick out the one that we imported earlier, that t2 module. Uh, and you can see that this sys.modules.t2.num has that, that variable there. Uh, but that still doesn't quite explain how this square function still has a reference to it. And in order to explain that, we have to look at all of the attributes of the square function. You'll see that it has a whole bunch of these double under things, and most of them you won't ever care about or look at. Uh, but one of them we're going to look at today is this double under globals. And this double under globals, it contains a whole bunch of stuff because there's a lot of things in globals by default. Uh, but if we just look at the keys here, you'll see that it has all of these things here. So name for the module, document, uh, the doc string of the module, the package, blah, 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 all that other stuff. Uh, but we also see the names of all of the globals in this uh, namespace here. So you can see there's num here and square. And if we do square.globals num, you can see that that is how it's able to access this, uh, this variable here. And if we were to look at the disassembly, uh, there should be a load global num. Yeah, you can see it actually does this twice here. And so this load global is essentially looking up in this globals dictionary to try and find. Uh, the name of the variable or uh, the value of the variable now a stinky thing you can do here <laughs> is you can actually i believe you can reassign the value in here you should never do this but you can uh and now you'll see that it has changed that variable i believe it also changes it inside the module itself or at least that's how it better work otherwise <laughs> yeah so this double under globals is really just a reference to uh double under dict on um on this module here. So you can see this is exactly the same as what we see uh, from globals there. And that's basically how uh, you know, global, global variable looks up in Python, or lookup works in Python. Now, I wanted to also draw this since uh, sometimes it's a little bit easier to visualize. Uh, so we've got our somewhat magical sys module. I say somewhat magical because it's uh, initialized by the interpreter itself and doesn't really participate in the normal import system. Uh, and it has a you know a dictionary in here. This is the sysmodules dictionary. And when we import the module, so we say like import, say we did from t2 import square, uh, we actually have two modules in that case. We have one module named double under main, and we have another module named oops named t2. And this uh, sys.modules dictionary references both of these, so. This one is the key t2, and this one is the key double under main. Oh, <laughs> that's ugly. We'll scoot that down here. And when we do from t2 import square, uh, the t2 module creates a function object. This is our square function object. And there is a name from t2 that references square. So this is the name square. <laughs> this is going to be a little bit all over the place. Uh, and we also have a name here that is square that also references this function object. Uh, and then this function object also references the globals, the double under dict of, of this. I think 
also. So we got to add the integer object for num in here as well. Have num. <laughs> this is starting to look like one of those the the strings everywhere meme. Um, <laughs> we also have num that's you know referencing this object over here, uh, and this dictionary here is is uh, actually the uh, double interdict of this module, and square references back to that. That's kind of how this all all ties together. So even though we just from import this one name, it's still going to reference this function object. This function object is going to reference back to the dictionary of the module that it was imported from. And sys.modules is going to keep all of this alive because it keeps global references to all of the modules that are available. But anyway, hopefully you found this interesting. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.